Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save file. We are jumping in with a win streak of 10. It's beautiful to see, but this time we are jumping in as the Keeper. He is basically the biggest risk character that we have. Although I will say he is definitely not anywhere near the risk he used to be. Um, but he is still a pretty significant risk to the streak. Concussion here isn't amazing, but it's nice. Um, because it becomes a pocket active, which is pretty good. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to jump in and see what we can do. As for question of the day, what's your most recent mistake you've made? That's a good one. It's a it's a bad one, but it's a good one. But yeah, basically with concussion, it recharges pretty quick, and we can use it to uh, essentially blast enemies away, concuss them, and kill them. It's pretty strong early game, but it falls off late game. The good thing is it's, it recharges during the room, and it recharges somewhat quickly. I don't think you can use it to grab coins or anything. No, you can't. I was just checking, just in case. I didn't think you could, but weaker enemies, enemies that have low HP, we can do a pretty good job of insta-killing, and it's also that, that like, little bit of protection to keep enemies, sort of, out of attack range. But yeah, like, like stuff like that. The one problem with it, I foresee, is tr becoming over a line on it in, in terms of, like, getting cl too close to an enemy that's maybe a bit dangerous and ended up taking up damage. Uh, taking uh, some damage to them because I was trying more intently to get my concussion hit in than I was in avoiding damage. So, I, I definitely foresee some damage of that kind. Um, but, I also foresee some um, winning in our regard in terms of just being able to deal good damage. Ooh, baby. Getting a 0 0.5 damage up for free from a room drop feels like goddamn Christmas come early. Right, this is one of the rooms that I'm a little worried about. Because I'm going to end up using Concussion at the wrong time here. I'm trying to use it sort of in the most ideal scenario, but it's not always apparent. See, there's already a time where I've used it when I shouldn't have. The good thing is we have slightly more ability to afford uh, to, to take the risk. Because if we leave coins behind, which I'm going to attempt to do wherever I can, then I've got healing always available. Now, using it against bosses is not great. Unfortunately, we got Gold Plum here. Uh, who does drop the Golden Plum Flute, um, but unfortunately is a bit harder. Dude, I might have already whiffed this. Okay, luckily I didn't. That was scary. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have uh, good HP right now, so I'm going to maybe go back and grab uh, the coins that are in that other room. I might have to use a bomb to get them, but honestly, I'm willing to do exactly that. Um, grab, 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 grab. And then what we got going on here? Yeah, honestly, it's very, very stupid to use a bomb for one coin. But this is our streak we're trying to keep alive right now. I'm not willing to risk it. Secret room, I honestly have no idea on this floor. I'm just going to leave it. Um, and we're going to go to the next floor. But yeah, we did get um, a bit of a luck upgrade there, which has removed our negative luck, put us back onto zero luck, which isn't obviously super valuable, but it, it works towards our luck becoming positive with luck pennies and, and the like, which is quite nice. Really, I should be leaving pennies on the floor where I can, um, if I can. My god. Well, that was uh, unexpected. Of course, I could... Uh, Play to the strengths of what's it called here and um, try and do a sack room. But again, I, I'm just, I want to play it safe. I want to try and make sure that I'm making the right decisions. Do okay, can someone work out the odds of getting three nickels in a row? Because that is absolute insanity, right? I'm, I'm not wrong in thinking that that's absolutely crazy. Uh, that's also an insanely strong thing for us to get. Model Rocket's also quite nice here. Now, I'm think I am can't remember. Do Devil Deals cost money for us? They do, don't they? I'm pretty sure Devil Deals cost money, right? Now, the Model Rocket is going to be slightly painful a little bit here. Just because the, the slowdown shots into speed up. Gives us a pretty hefty damage up, but comes with a, a slight cost to it. I managed to hit him miles away. Fucking hell. Um, because I'm, I'm just thinking, do I? Because I don't think angel deals cost. So I think I want to be going angel deal. I've already done mega Satan, so I don't got to worry about that. 
Which means I can take a look in my shop and see if there's anything valuable in here. Um, unfortunately, there isn't any items. There's a trinket for sale, though, weirdly enough. Which isn't super common. Didn't mean to pick that up, but it's done now. But yeah, any hearts that we get that give us blue flies, there's a 25% chance for those um, blue flies to turn into uh, orange locusts, which is really heckin' strong. Nice. Unfortunately, we get this goose. Goddamn hate this boss. Oh, bugger you. This is the bit that annoys me. We'll have to wait like 20 seconds for him to do his shenanigans. Luckily he is dead. And, of course, of course, getting just an awful item out of it at the end is uh, a real kick in the nuts. Anyways, yeah, we'll go to Angel Deal. We'll keep our money on us for now. Curse of creation isn't that. But dude. Dude. I know it's not four in a row, but this is still unprecedented. So much moolah for us. Dude, stop jumping! Fuck! <laughs> Goddamn annoying little shits. Hit those away. Why was the shots from that blue? The heck? We can grab this because... I was about to say it'll likely have money in it. Ooh! That is a, a, a whole one damage up. I think this is still better, but the one damage up is, is pretty tempting. Good. Grab our pennies. Yeah, that's that's still strength badge is a is a really good one. Oop. I love the fact that it confuses them as well because it means you like you have a little bit of time to like sort yourself out before they do something again. Good. Shop once again. That's very good. Spawn a golden penny upon entering a new floor. Shops will sell. Basically, shops become tainted keeper shops now. This is really, really good. Uh, also, it means we constantly have a golden penny on the floor um, of every floor. So we've got basically permanent, like, I won't say infinite HP, but we've got a lot of HP available to us. Because we can just leave the golden penny until the end of the floor um, to pick it all up. And basically leave it as like a, a regenerable HP pool that we can sort of come back to at any time. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I actually managed to hit that guy over the gap. I did not know I could do that. That's intriguing. Not what this room was made to do. Ooh, do I have to kill something over here? Oh, I do. Gross. I definitely need like something that's going to speed up my shot speed earlier on. I just need some shot speed up, I think. Although it is at two already, so maybe that doesn't really work for us. Um, yeah, this is probably worthwhile. It's a shame that hitting them against the wall with concussion doesn't deal extra damage, but again, I kind of know why, because the, the items are already strong. It doesn't need making any stronger. Here's our first Locust of War. Lovely. I shall let him do his thing. We need some, th some way of generating, like, guaranteed flies every room. Then then we've really got some, some gold. I need to be using my active more as well. I'm not using it much at the minute. The, th the thing is, Concussion has, like, crazy good range. Dude, he jumps over me every time I fire. Stop. 
Hey, there's another war locust. Thank you. That's really, really good. I'll definitely take that. Oh, dude, that character looks kind of awesome right now with the helmet on and stuff. Carefully the explodey boys. Finding an enemy that's one hit kill by concussion is really, really enjoyable. Right, let's kill our boss. Try and get an angel deal going, hopefully. Oh my god! Fuck me. I didn't think about how- Oh yeah, let's not, let's not, let's not. I didn't think about how crazy the movement would be from that. Okay, we did get shot speed up here. I don't think it's going to go up any higher than two though, is it? Oh no, it goes up to three. Nice. Okay, this is this is better. This is already better. I like this. The acceleration is so much faster. We've seen our shop and everything. I think we're good to go. Yeah, the acceleration is so much faster and it's more damage. I'm not sure how model rocket calculates damage, but it does have some sort of calculation based on um based on movement speed of your shot. So the more shot speed we get, the better, I think. Right, so yeah, we've got this golden penny here now. Uh, we're not going to touch the golden penny. Um, we are going to go in here real quick into the uh, rune room. And in this room, killing enemies spawns blue fire. Okay, that's really good. So basically, we've just got to touch all of these. And then that's activated now. So now whenever we kill enemies, we get blue flies and spiders, which is really good because we get locusts of wars sometimes and we spawn blue flies and spiders. It's going to be really good for us. Do we have piercing? Oh, dude, that was a really bad hit by me. Oh, it's Curse of Darkness, isn't it? So we have piercing on Curse of Darkness flaws. I forgot about that. Well, these guys are taking a night and a day to kill. Right, Shoppeth, where art thou? Secret room looking here, maybe? Nope. Okay, secret room's looking here, maybe. Go, baby. Nice. Quite a lot of keys there. That's lovely. Yeah, we're doing really good damage now with uh, our newfound shot speed. We don't need no damage up. We just need shot speed up. And it's nice with Curse of Darkness having this uh, extra piercing bonus as well. Ain't gonna say no to that. Technically... Ooh... Sack room might be actually pretty viable now. One, two, three. It's it's a it's a pain in the ass, I'll say that for sure. Four. But we've got a golden penny now, so it's it's pretty viable. Be careful around the bomb rocks here. Another penny there. We are now on player five. Hey, awesome. Six and seven. Hey, and we got a really good item out of that as well. Okay, very worthwhile. Very happy I did that. Um, We've got, how many more players have we got until the, all the pennies? Like two or three more players? I'm not going to bother with that for now. We'll come back to that maybe. But yeah, now we can step in this to gain herming. Oh, dude, that guy landed on me. Nice. Get out of here, goose. Yeah, I'm liking this with herming. This is this is very nice with herming with the Laura's water. I like that a lot. Shoppeth, where art thou? You are going to be full to the brim with goodies, sir. So. Very intrigued to see you. Marked. 
I'll take Max, why not? I like Max. I think it's overall pretty good. Um, and we got ourselves the library certificate, which is really good. Um, and the tarot cloth, which had another item under it, weirdly. <laughs> we'll take the library cloth. Um, we, we've had a situation like this before where we've been playing as this character um, and we've taken Book of Virtues. I'm probably going to do that again. Oh god, our character's glitching the hell out right now. Um... I'm just seeing if there any other passives that would be good for us. I don't think so. I think I think it is just going to be a Book of Virtues situation because the uh, the Wisps help us. Cool. Take the Sun card for the next floor. Yeah, I'm going to say the Wisps give us protection. So I don't think it's a bad call at all. Um... At this point, we've been to our shop, so we're going to go and uh, now play on our Golden Penny. Uh, we'll do one. Two. And three. Ah. This will help us for the boss, at least, but I was obviously really hoping for the thing either. Whirling Leech? Nah. Not, not good enough. If it was a damage up, I would have done it and then used the sun card, but it is not. Right, just make sure we don't accidentally walk into any spikes or anything on the way back here. That's the, the biggest thing that could be a problem right now, because we are one hit away from death. But our golden penny, as long as it's not terrible, should give us our health back in full. And hopefully a little bit extra. Nah. <laughs> a little bit extra. One coin extra. But that's the nature of golden pennies. Um, We had to give it a gamble. Give it a go. We'll always leave the golden penny until the end of the floor to make sure we've got it for HP whenever we need it. Uh, but also, yeah, we can then gain our money for going to the shop and potentially getting some good items. Like we did the library card there. I think the library card's a super, super cool like idea for an item. It takes death certificate, makes like a microscopic version of it. And it's really cool. There you go. Nice easy kill there. That's perfectly happy with me. I like that a lot, so even more fire rate. We'll go down to the next floor. I'll pop my sun card in the first room. And we'll basically head straight to the shop, I think. Oh, uh, doesn't matter. I won't pop my sun card at all, because we've got no mapping. Fun! What fun! Oh, dude. I hate this room with a burning passion. I don't think I've ever done this room legit, you know. Sadly, we don't have piercing anymore, so we are dealing with a slightly weaker floor this time around. But yeah. Sadly, no mapping, and, and the sun does not remove um, the curse, which I kind of wish it did. There is a mod out there that does do that, but I've unfortunately just had to purge a lot of my mods recently to make my performance better. It is a shame, but it is what it is. But yeah, I think our, our, uh, our, our thingy wisps also have a chance to... Um, I really, really, really don't like this situation. Uh, our wisps also have a chance to produce... Um, coins when they get destroyed. I think it's a 50% chance as well. So the wisps are multifaceted for us. As you can see, I've kind of taken a step back from using concussion so much. I just The enemies are too high HP now for it to be a priority, and we're, we're, we're getting enough out of just using our shots. So I'm not particularly keeping that in the front of my mind right now. Good, good, good. Keep accidentally picking up the coin that I create. It's fine, but don't want to make a hab out of it. What else is left in this room? Oh, that's another one of you. Oh, there's more. There is most certainly more. There's more? Oh, where the hell did you come from? Goose. It's shot speed. Not a lot of shot speed, but it's shot speed. It does help our damage. Oh, 
Also, it's nice that our, our wisps uh, fire as well. Some extra damage coming from our wisps. Don't worry about the little fellas. They'll get taken care of in due time. Get our angel deal. It's it's not great, but it is what it is. Trinity Shield, pretty much the same same exact sentiment. It's not great, but it is what it is. Like uh, Trinity Shield's not. It's 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 okay. <laughs> it's just not what you're looking for from an angel deal, is it? It's it's one of those items that you get and you're like, yeah, that's fair. But there's so many other things I wish I would have gotten. All right, at the minute we're just looking for the shop. There it is. We'll have to go back and get our golden penny if we uh, need to purchase a lot here. See what's in here. Fortunately, not a lot. We'll grab our capsules here for potential uh, increases to fire rate, but we didn't get it. Did get that luck increase, which is going to help with our fires. Otherwise, that wasn't particularly valuable for us. Right, now we've got a hibbity hop back. Hope our golden penny is worth the um, arduous trip back. And then get on with our day. Pretty sure I know where I'm going, although I'm not certain. There we go. Right, now we just gotta hope that this gives us at least 15 cent for the next floor shop. And then basically after next floor, we're only utilizing the golden penny for HP when we need it. There you go, we got over 15, lovely. After that point, it's just kind of meh. Golden Penny, the money in general is not really of any use to us. Unless we go hush, which we don't need to do anyways. So I haven't got a huge want to do that. We're going to go Dark Path here. I've been going Dark Path a lot recently, but it's what it calls for. Oh, I've not been this way before. Whoopsie. Well, this is an annoying one, isn't it? Came in this room and it's fucking useless and it's a really, really goddamn hard room. Well, it's a hard room, but it's a long fucking room. Ugh. This room's treacherous as shit. I hate this. Ah, oh, yeah. F fuck this. <laughs> I ain't playing your game, sucker. Bye. You're taking way too long to kill. I don't care for your rewards. Right, boss time. Why is my Trinity Shield, like, off at a weird angle? Ugh. I didn't know this happened. Trinity Shield actually works with Marked. That's kind of interesting. Oh. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. We actually get some benefit out of uh, Trinity Shield with Marked. We actually got mapping this time. Lovely. We can pop our sun card here. The sun, the sun. Here comes the sun, the sun. Do -do 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 -do. Don't know why I used that there. Oh, well. Loaded D6. Loaded D6 is so goddamn good. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take a look at our shop. And then if it's not anything I fancy, use the loaded D6 on it. See what it gives us and then leave the loaded D6 behind. Bacano and Blank Rune. Can't believe how bad Bacano is. <laughs> Blank Rune is just kind of is what it is. Oopsie, I dropped both of those backs. Yeah, I gotta say, Loaded D6 is really fun. I'm not really seeing what items that we have that would be really good to get twice. Maybe the shot speed ones would be good. Just for more shot speed based damage. Uh, but I'm not really entirely sure on that. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. There's, there's probably a few that I'm not thinking of that would be really good to get more than once. Oh, hello. Grants the player two broken hearts, duplicates every item in the room similar to Diplopia. How do broken hearts work with this bad boy? Uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm probably not going to use this now that I think about it, because for one, it's not charged yet, which I didn't realise. But for two... 
I don't know how broken hearts work with this guy, and I have a feeling they don't work the way I want them to. I'm going to try and blank rune in here. Yes! I was like, let's hope it's Perth rune. It goddamn was. We get snake. Yeah, so both of these I'm not that interested in. Let's go and grab the loaded D6 and see what's what, shall we? A little bit of a long trek with low speed, but hey, it is what it is. You have to make the trek back and back again. But yeah, like, I'm trying to think, like, getting this this strange apple again would be good. Maybe another Trinity Shield if it goes on your back. Um, marked again. Laura's thing again. There's, there's, there's probably quite a few of these that would be pretty good to have two of. There you go. I'll, I'll admit the range isn't particularly good, but I'll take it anyways. Why not? Um, and we are up to 4.32. There's an extra one shot speed. So with our missile, our rockets, that's probably giving us a quite quite a good bit of damage. It's kind of weird, really. We've, we've not actually got anything that increases our damage at all. Yet our damage has been augmented pretty heavily because of model rocket. Um, so this is pretty good. Pretty good, and we actually got a half decent use out of the loaded D6 there, even if it was only on a one-time use. I think the loaded D6 is just a fantastic idea for an item. Uh, I might as well at this point take my golden penny a little bit. Not that I'm likely to come across any more shops. Unless this makes shops appear in the womb, the keeper's penny, but doubt it does. Highly doubt it does. I'm only going to 15. Okay, it only gave me to 15. I was like, I'm, once I get to 15, I'm just going to leave it, and it just disappeared anyways. I was kind of hoping the strange apple would get duplicated, and we get multiple snakes on the screen. Um, one problem with the snake is obviously it's pretty big, so you do kind of lose a bit of visibility. Don't even know what hit me there. Uh, 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 what the fuck happened to that bomb? Dude, okay, great. The snake pushes bombs around for some stupid ass reason. That needs to be fixed. That's an oversight right there. But yeah, I do hope at some point we do actually get some real damage up though, because as much as the model rocket is doing a good job right now, it'd be doing an even better job if we had some damage. As you can see, it's, it's hitting pretty hard. Like, the further it travels, the faster it gets. It uh, does some real good damage. Oh, god damn, that's a lot of money. The good thing is, as well, with this much range, we're able to, like, shoot it across the whole room. So it's kind of good to get the double mum's underwear, actually, to get a huge ranger boost. Trying to focus on just one segment, like one door. It's just too much of a hassle with Mark to turn around constantly. Also, my snake has nicely got himself stuck. We're doing negative, right? Yes, we're doing negative. Lovely. Down we go. That's the plus two damage we're looking for there. So that, that should be a pretty big boost to our damage, really. We'll see how that goes. I need to use my Laura as uh, water as, a little bit more as well for the Herming and stuff. I'm not really using it much right now, and it's it's pretty valuable. Uh, obviously, it gives us stats, but the Herming is more the important thing for me. Okay, let's just hope we can actually go the right way, early doors here. Sadly, we have not gone the right way. 
That is a token. I... I'm curious. I, I don't... It's not necessary in any way, shape, or form. But I'm curious to see how token plus a golden penny works. It does work the way I thought it would. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Not that I need the money, but... um, Basically, I was just curious to see if it would just give me one penny. Or if it would act like a golden penny and spawn a new golden penny. And it does spawn a new golden penny. So that's pretty cool. Oh, dude. This little shithead is uh, up my ass. Although my, my apple, my, my snake boy, did a really good idea. Really, really good idea. Did a really good job. I don't know why I said idea. Dude, the amount, honestly, the, 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 considering we only have 6.7 damage, our actual damage output is kind of ludicrous because of the model rocket. Boss time. Sadly, no rocks in this room for Laures, but it's what it is. A sneaky boy is doing a decent job. You managed to throw one of your children into the fire, which is also rather nice for us. Thank you. We did get a devil deal here, so money is a little more thingy applicable. We got two 30 cent items, so I should have been picking up money the whole last time. My bad. I have the occult's pretty goddamn good. Ooh. Oh, okay. I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. Okay. I have the occult plus mark. I think I've had this before uh, a long time ago, but with the model rockets, it's uh, it's a lot more fun. Right, let's let's pick up the money this time. Actually, we should go to the arcade as well. See what's happening in there. We'll leave it for now in case we need it, but we'll, we, can, we can always come back for it. Dude, how is? How is that enemy not dead? <laughs> Just surviving everything there. Ugh. I don't even have bombs. No, this room sucks so hard. I just lost all my wisps due to this fucking stupid room. Ah, uh, all my wisps gone. That's ugh, that's gross. Oh god, I hate these enemies as well. Again, losing all my fucking wisps due to stupid rooms where I've got to run into enemies and shit. Oh god. I'm getting very frustrated. The game is like, oh, you have wisps to protect your body? <laughs> what if you didn't? <laughs> so funny, game. So funny. You're real cute, aren't you? You're real goddamn cute, aren't you? Okay. Clean up that room nice and quick. Again, we do have another uh, thingy room here. Dude, all my wisps again. Right. Please have points in it. Yes, baby, yes. Ah, bugger. No payout for us. It is what it is. Realistically, I need to get up to 30 cent before the uh, boss in case we get... Uh, to be fair, we've got more chance of an angel deal. I'm just going to... 
chance it just in case. Yeah, I'm liking the damage we got going on now. Also, either occult gave us a damage up. I didn't even think about that. So many rockets that we can control. It's a little hard to control them when they're moving at this like insane speed. Okay. Keep getting hit. Losing all my goddamn wisps. Oh, dude. Fucking get off my wisps. Keep running into them. I'm trying to save those for boss battles, ba battles and they keep dying to bullshit. Do you see how far I bounced that guy? Come on now. And I've lost all my wisps again. I wonder how much Trinity Shield has saved me so far. I bet it's actually quite a bit, you know. Probably quite a bit more than I'd realise. Right, anyways, here's the boss. We are here now. Get out of here, you spawn of fools. Right, I'm a little bit worried for the mother fight because this this is just a fight that hits me a lot. I'm basically at the minute I'm kind of hopeful that um our fires will say, do good job and save us. Oh, bloody hell. Always forget that this attack is coming, and I'm always overwhelmed by it. There you go. We got it. We got a good kill there. Nothing to worry about. Didn't get an angel deal or anything. We are going dark path, so down we go. Yeah, another intriguing run. Again, Golden Penny, we're just leaving there for... Uh, whatever's going on with this room right now, I do not like it. Okay, there was, a, there was just an enemy in the middle that I couldn't see. Oh, dude. Marked. Move faster. Oh my god, I'm finding it so hard to hit everything here. Luckily, my snake boy is actually doing a good bit of damage. Oh god. I really, really don't like this. Okay, that wasn't anywhere near as bad as I envisioned it being. I'm really hoping I don't accidentally come across the mini boss here, but you know I will. You goddamn know I will. Okay. There you go. Just take us straight to the goddamn boss, please. Nothing would delight me more. Oh, weird. Those enemies are meant to be reworked and they weren't there. Okay, we did get to go straight to the boss, so I'm happy. Enough. How are you not dead yet, sir? I've been firing at you for ages. Oh, we had to get the champion one, didn't we? Oh, and of course the bomb didn't even go off. Fuck's sake. Why did it have to be the champion one? Okay, we look, got really lucky with our fires there. Okay, we are all good. Down to the next floor. 
And let's see what we got going on here. Well, that's very good to start with. Go ahead, obviously doesn't matter. So I guess that's that's the only one that really matters for us, right? So I guess that's all we're taking. These guys are explosives. They might blow up my Laura's thing here, but yeah, like I guess I'll stick next to it as long as I can. I knew they'd end up blowing it up eventually. More pennies left on the floor is great for us. Gotta say, yeah, not a big fan of this room. Two of these guys at either angle. I'm gonna get hit. Neither is dead yet. Okay, one of them finally died. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Oh, dude. These enemies are also terrible. All of them, including these little underground fuckers as well. I hate these things. Especially with Mark, this is making it so much more difficult. Dude, stop firing so fast. Holy! Oh, god damn it. We didn't even get a fucking... Um, what's it called? Penny in this room. This guy needs to die like right the goddamn hell now. Okay. That didn't go as bad as it could have done. Unfortunately, we did get this guy, which is very bad for me. Okay, he did one of his attacks I can actually dodge. Okay, I managed to dodge that one as well. Holy hell. Holy hell. I accidentally picked up the penny. I hate doing that. I was really hoping to have as many um, thingies, uh, space bar charges as I possibly could going into this fight here, but we do not. We did get a penny, good, good. The good thing is we have very, very high range here, so we can kind of sit back, mostly out of the way whenever possible. No spinny, which is nice. Okay, one part of him is done. This is going really, really well. Really, really well. Fire is basically going to seal the deal for us, and there you go. Another win. Okay, we are doing good. We are doing good. I hope you guys enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.